swore by him who lives forever and ever. I'll ask you this question. Jesus Christ, who is he? Is he God only? Or is he human only? What do you say? He's both? He's both together at the same time in the person of Christ. Christ is the person that unites both divinity and humanity. Watch this. This angel is Jesus Christ himself. He raised his hand, Jesus Christ raised his hand and swore by whom? By the one who lives forever and ever. Now, who lives forever and ever? God. So Jesus swore by God, not by his humanity, but by his divinity. Now, why didn't he swear by his humanity? Why did he swear by his divinity? To understand this, we need to know when are we allowed to make an oath or we, we swear? When are we allowed? Now, li listen to this. When we read in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, verses 33 to 34. Matthew 5, 33 to 34. The Lord Jesus is speaking here. He says, again, you heard that it was said before to those of old, you shall not swear falsely, but you shall perform your oaths to the Lord. That is Matthew 5, 33. You shall not swear falsely, but you shall perform your oaths to the Lord. So the Old Testament says you're allowed to swear, to make an oath. But as long as you are not making a false oath, as long as you are performing your oath to the Lord, you're allowed. Then in verse 34, the Lord Jesus says, But I say to you, you shall you do, do not swear at all. Do not swear at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne. You shall not swear at all. Now the Lord is saying, you do not swear at all, but in Revelation 5, he says, and he swore by him who lives forever and ever. So Lord, which one is it? Am I allowed to swear or not? Here you're saying, don't swear at all. But here, I'm swearing by the one who lives forever and ever. So which one is it? He says, yes, the only one who can make an oath is God. No human, including Jesus, the human, the perfect man. The perfect man is not even allowed to make an oath. That's why when I came to swear, I swore by the one who lives forever. Only God. Why? The only time you can swear, you give an oath, is when you have the authority to make it happen. When you have the authority to make it happen, that is the only time you're allowed to make an oath or you swear. Don't ever say, I swear by God. That is a sin. I swear by the name of Jesus. That is a sin. You cannot swear at all. The Lord says the only thing you can say is yes, yes, no, no. Anything more than this is from the evil one, from the enemy. Why can't we swear as humans? Because whatever we promise, we can never deliver. Whatever we say, we can never fulfill. Can you promise that you can change darkness into light? No, so don't swear. Can you promise that you will never die? No, so therefore don't ever swear. The Lord Jesus said, if you cannot change the white strand of your hair into black and the black into white or extend one foot to your height, then the things that you can see, the things that you can reach, you have no control over. How can you then have control over the things that you can never get to and you can never see? You are incapable of fulfilling whatever you say. Therefore, you have no authority to swear. 
The only one who can swear is the one who owns the thing and is the rightful creator of the thing. In this, only God qualifies. Who created me? God. Who owns me? God. I don't own myself. I don't own nothing. I did not create myself. I did not create anything around me. Everything was created by God. Therefore, whoever is the creator is the only one that qualifies to swear. So when the Lord Jesus, through his humanity, came to make an oath, he swore by the one who lives forever and ever. He swore by his divinity, not by his humanity, because his humanity is limited, yet his divinity is infinite, unlimited.